Hello students, this is second experiment in this video in which we will study plant specimens and their identifications with reasons. First write objective and requirements of the experiments. The objective or aim is specimens, slides, models and identification with reasons of bacteria, oscillatoria, spirogyra, rhizopus, mushroom, yeast, liverwort, moss, fern, pinus, one monocotyledon plant and one dicotyledon plant. For this we require prepared slides, charts, models or specimens. Start with number 1 bacteria, write its classification and then write important characteristics of bacteria. First bacteria are microscopic unicellular means they are made up of only single cell and they are prokaryotic organisms. Second point they have different shapes may be spherical, rod shaped, spiral, comma shaped or filamentous. Third point true nucleus is absent and hereditary material is in the form of DNA. Next membrane bound organelles are absent and ribosomes which are present in it are of 70 S types. S stands for Swedberg unit used to measure kitna fast molecules move karte hain in a centrifuge. After this draw both diagrams upper as well as lower on left side of your practical notebook. Second is oscillatoria right classification and note down characteristic features. First it is fresh water blue green algae, it is unbranched and filamentous and each filament is known as trichome. You can note trichome in the diagram. Each cell is a prokaryotic cell. Also dead cells are found in filamentous colony. This also you can see in the diagram and group of cells lying between two dead cells form hormogonium. Draw diagram with pencil and label its parts on left side of the practical notebook. Third organism is spirogyra. After writing classification as usual write the characteristics features of spirogyra. First character is it is multicellular filamentous green algae covered with mucilaginous sheath. Note in the diagram it has ribbon shaped spiral chloroplast which has got many pyrenoid bodies. Next cytoplasm lies in the periphery of cell and vacuole is present in the center. There is single nucleus which is suspended in the center of vacuole by cytoplasmic strands. Fourth organism is rhizopus, it is a fungi. Write important features after writing classification. 1. Body of rhizopus is made of interwoven threads called hyphae and it is known as mycelium. Now see the diagram, see three types of hyphae present. 1. Aerial hyphae which are also called as sporangiophores. They arise in the form of tufts and bears sporangium containing spores. Other two types of hyphae present are stoloniferous and rhizoidal hyphae. All hyphae are multinucleate and aseptic. Draw diagram with pencil on left side of your practical notebook. Next is agaricus. It is also a fungus. Write classification. Draw label diagram as shown and write important features. First, it is saprophytic fungus. Second, a mushroom is represented by a basidiocarp that consists of a stalk or stipe, an umbrella shaped pilus or cap and a ring like annulus is present on the stalk. See the lower side of cap or pilus. It has thin vertical plate like gills which radiate from margin towards the stalk. Yeast, another fungus. It is a unicellular saprophytic fungus. Each cell is oval or spherical in shape 
with distinct cell wall made of chitinous material. The cytoplasm contains one or more vacuoles and a single nucleus. It contains mitochondria and glycogen granules. Nucleus has large nuclear vacuole and nuclear reticulum and nucleoli are also present in it. Prominent centrosome is present above the nucleus. After writing this, draw label diagram as shown in the picture. Rixia, liverworts, a bryophyta. It has dorsoventrally flattened thallus that becomes circular due to dichotomous branching. Dorsally, the thallus bears midrib and apical notch with growing point at the apex, while scales and rhizoids are present on ventral side. Scales help in protection and rhizoids help in fixation and absorption. After writing the characteristic features, draw the diagram as shown in the picture with sharp pencil and label the different parts. Funaria, another bryophyta. See the diagram. The plant body is gametophyte and differentiated into root-like rhizoids, stem-like structure and spirally arranged leaf-like structure. Rhizoids are branched and obliquely septate. Sporophyte is attached upon gametophyte and sporophyte is differentiated into foot, seta and capsule. You can note gametophyte as well as sporophyte of funaria in the diagram. Draw this diagram in your notebook. Dryopteris fern or pteridophyte. See its structure. Adult plant body is sporophyte and distinguished into stem, leaves and root. Stem is underground and called rhizome. Roots are adventitious. The leaves are bipinnate and entire foliage is called frond. Young leaves that arise from rhizome remain spring-like and are called circinate leaves. Draw its diagram in your notebook as shown and label different parts. Pinus, a gymnosperm, having naked seeds. Seeds are not enclosed in fruits in gymnosperms. Write characteristic features of Pinus after writing the classification. First, it is evergreen, woody, perennial tree. Second, the plant body is distinguished into root, which is a taproot, shoot and leaves. Third point, shoots are of two types, long shoots or the branches of unlimited growth and dwarf shoots or branches of limited growth. Fourth point, long shoots bear dwarf shoots and needle-like leaves are present on dwarf shoots. You can note all these points in the diagram, draw it in your notebook and label all parts. Asphodelus, a monocot plant. It bears fibrous roots. Leaves are with parallel venation. The stem is above the ground and unbranched. Floral axis bears trimerous flowers, means all parts of flowers are in group of three or multiple of three. Next point, the seeds are produced within the fruit and enclosed an embryo with only one cotyledon. That's why the name given monocot plant. Draw label diagram as shown in the picture. Brassica, a dicotyledon plant. It has tap root system. Stem is soft, green with nodes and internodes. Leaves are with reticulate venation. It bears yellow colored bisexual flowers which help in reproduction. Seeds are enclosed in fruits and are dicotyledons means having two cotyledons. That's why the name given a dicotyledon plant. After all this, note important point about drawing of diagram. Diagram should be made opposite to its written part. Clear? So that's all for today. Thank you very much for staying with me. Subscribe the channel to get the information about my new video. Thank you. Thank you so much.